everyone. Welcome back to the Divine Hero Love Love channel. I am Nicole. I'm so grateful to have you here with me today. Welcome back to the Council of LLBE Tribe. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for all of this love, the support, being here, being present, showing up for yourself, commenting, subscribing, liking the videos sharing the videos i'm so grateful for you i'm so grateful for your presence i'm so grateful that you are here overwhelmed with gratitude thank you for the donations thank you all for all of the things that you were doing helping to add to what we are building here i am so grateful thank you all so much honestly it's a pleasure to be here to help you in your journey to serve to help just give you what you need to keep going. Honestly, it's a pleasure. It's healing for you, it's healing for me. Thank you all so much. So today's pick a card, we're going to talk about what are the spiritual abilities for your child, your baby, or your children. And if you don't have any children, this could be for your future children or you just take whatever resonates for you. But we're going to be talking about the spiritual and healing abilities of your child, your baby, your baby, your child, your children, okay? What are their capabilities? What will they be able to do? How you can help them on their journey to unravel their soul deeper, to learn more about themselves so they can trust themselves and be you know, guided on the right path, okay? As a parent, you are the earth guide. You are here to guide them as they discover their purpose, as they find who they are, as they connect with their higher self and connect with the things that they are meant to do, their mission here on earth. They have a special mission Okay, so by you knowing this information, you can help them to the best of their ability, help guide them because you are their guide here on earth. Okay, help them to realize what they need, to realize their potential, help support them, help give them the tools, help affirm them. You know, all of these things will help them on their journey. And the sooner you know, you can really, and you're not going to know everything, of course, you know, because they're still discovering, okay? Things are still unfolding and unlocking for them. But if you could just have an idea so you can help them, you know, so they can, you know, become their greatest version and become their best self, okay? That's what this is about. So we're going to get into it for um, PAL 1. We have this card. Sorry, let me see here. Okay, willing release. Pile one, pile two. Pile two, it is what it is. Pile three, the roses kiss. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. Pile one, pile two, and pile three. This is a general reading. You take what resonates and leave the rest. Pick which pile resonates for you. If more than one pile resonates for you, that is okay too. Use your intuition. If you need to pause the video, you can do so as well. Okay, thank you all so much. I'm so grateful to have you here. Thank you. Timestamps will be linked below. Thank you again, and I will see you in your reading. Hi, Pal One. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Divine Healing Love Love channel. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE tribe. I am Nicole. This is the card you picked. Willing Release. Let's find out the spiritual abilities of 
your baby, your child, your children. And this could be for your children or child that you have now or your baby that you have now or in the future. Okay, so you take what resonates for you. All right, so many abilities for this child. This child is going to be very inquisitive, very curious, okay? Some of the abilities they're in for their intuition, they're able to gather more tools and knowledge through their curiosity. They will ask a lot of questions. They will be very inquisitive. They're going to ask you questions like, why is the sky blue? Why, you know, like very in-depth questions about things about the universe and earth okay they're going to again ask you very philosophical questions they're going to be very much in the philosophy i'm definitely getting this child could be a life path four or a life path nine this child could also be a sagittarius i'm getting strong sagittarius energy i'm also getting gemini energy i'm also getting cancer energy i'm also getting Pisces as well, and Aquarius, okay? This child is going to be very, they're going to have a, okay, for some of you, you know, this is more than one child here. All of them are going to be curious, okay? But the curiosity will be in different arenas, meaning different subjects, different subject matter, different, um, different on, in different areas and different places. Okay. I'm getting that someone is going to be very much into esoteric, occult, metaphysical, um, things. Okay. Very spiritual. All of them are going to be spiritual. For some of you, this could be four children. Okay, they're all going to be very spiritual, but it's kind of like each person is going to have their own thing, like their own domain, their own um, place where they feel drawn to, where they feel attracted to. I'm feeling very strongly that one or two are going to be very like radical. And when I say radical, like sometimes I don't like using certain words. I mean, like, I like it, but I feel like the way society paints these pictures and programs us to believe, like, radicals out of control. It's not that. It's meaning radical, like, they're going to be willing to experiment and try with anything. They're going to be very experimental. They're going to be very much, like, they want to see how things work. They want to see what things can do. They want to see... They want to just experiment. They want to experiment with life. I'm getting this energy that... You know, they're not going to hurt themselves, but they're definitely going to teeter that line. It's a bit of a living on the edge type energy, wanting to live on the edge, excited to live on the edge. So you're going to have to kind of like talk to them about cause and effect, okay? Get them to really understand that the concept of cause and effect. And how, you know, you don't want to go too far. You don't want to, because one child here will have a bit of a flirting with danger. You know, like they'll want to kind of like see how far they could push the envelope. Okay. I'm also getting this energy around. So if I'm getting an energy for another child, another child is going to be very, um, inquisitive but very quiet and kind of like hold a lot in okay they're going to be very observant they're going to watch everyone they're going to pay attention to they're going to be really much into psychology they're going to be very much into human behavior the habits the habits of the mind how people express themselves what people say they're going to listen and pay attention to everything they may be a bit introverted they may not always um, speak on certain things and talk about certain things, but they're definitely watching everyone and everything. They're going to watch everything that you do. 
both parents here, they're going to watch everything that their parents do. So it's like, if you say you're going to do something, they're going to hold you accountable. And they're going to say, you know, hey, you said this because accountability is going to be very important. Um, leadership is going to be very important. Trustworthiness. This child is going to watch everything that's going to be very much into psychology and human behavior. They're going to want to study again, study all these habits to like help people. Like they're going to do this in a way where it's like they can help others. They can like help others change like their habits of mind, change their habits of their behavior, change some of the things that they may do by like studying their behavior. Like I hope this makes sense. Like it's almost like they're going to be able to study these behaviors so much where they can predict what people will do. And then they'll be able to say like, well, if you would just change things up a certain way, your whole, like your state of mind and your beliefs and your behavior will change. Okay. I don't know what you call that. Comment below. You know, sometimes when I'm channeling, I can't because I'm just in different realms and different dimensions. It's hard to like pinpoint the name of things. So comment below. One child is going to be very much wanting to, um, very much like a tell it like it is. This is going to be the truth seeker. This is going to be the one that wants the truth for everything, um, values the truth, always wanting to learn, always wanting to learn more, questioning everything. Like I said, all of them, part of their gift is curiosity and their their inquisitive nature that's part of their gift that's part of the, how they unlock their intuition and their intuitive abilities and their spiritual abilities okay this is how they're able to unlock these things further and this is how they're able to find themselves on a deeper level this is how they'll be able to find their purpose so if they're not asking questions ask them questions so then they can start learning how to ask questions. But I feel very strongly, if they're not asking questions, two out of the four are or will ask questions, and then the other two will catch on and start to really like start to ask more questions. The oldest child here, whoever the oldest child is, this is the child that's going to be very, this child needs a lot of freedom. This child needs to, um, this child needs to be free. You know, this child cannot be held down. Wow, this child's really powerful, okay? And if this is not the oldest child, this is the second to oldest. This child is very powerful. This child has a huge mission here on earth. This child may already know their mission. They may already be in their mission, honestly. That's how powerful this child is. This child may already be in mission, regardless of the age. This child came in knowing they know their assignment. Wow, this child is being protected by Archangel Michael. This child is, is very, yeah, this child, wow, I have goosebumps. This child honors the truth. They know when people are lying. They have that lie detector within them. That's part of their gift. They can tell you when someone is lying. They can tell you when someone's not being authentic. They can tell you when someone is not being genuine. This child scares a lot of people because this child is so brutally honest. This child is very powerful. This child knows they're powerful. This child, again, they know the assignment. And they're going to lead the other the other children here. For some of you, it's like four children, three or four, or you will have three or four. And they're going to be like, they're going to lead. They may not have taken on being that sibling at first, like that. You know, if they're the, again, because I feel like for some of you, this is the oldest sibling or the second to oldest. So they may have struggled a little bit with that, like stepping into that role because they need freedom. Like they don't want to feel tied down. And sometimes that could help. Like they're going to lead, but they're going to create the type of leadership that they're going to create. This is like a... Like they're gonna lead people by their example, but it's like this is so different. This is so revolutionary. It's kind of like um, this is gonna be leadership we've never seen before. Like they don't want to be called a leader, but they know that they're a leader. Like it's very unique. Like they're kind of like 
don't call me a leader, but they know they're a leader. But something about that feels com like a confinement for them. But they know it and they love it, but they just don't want any attachments. Like this child is very free. This, I cannot say this enough. This child cannot be tied down at all. So if this child is very free with their speech, if this child is very free with their way of thinking, let it ride. This is how this child, this is the purpose. This is how this child finds themselves. This is how this child, you know, this child is going to speak against authority. You know, in school, they're going to speak up. They don't care who is saying anything. Like, it could be the principal. It could be the, you know, the teacher. If something is wrong, they're going to speak up. They speak out. Like I said, Archangel Michael is with this child. I mean, I cannot, like, I literally, you cannot see this. I don't know if you can see this, but my body is vibrating, goosebumps all over. Like, this child is powerful. And this child will scare authority because people are going to be like, who is this child and who do they think they are? This child is going to be well known. This is part of the plan. They're supposed to be well known. You know, they're supposed to be the person that people know and people look up to. Like I said, this child knows that they're a leader, but, you know, something about calling them a leader is that, you know, they don't, like, I, they just, they can't be confined. They can't feel attached or trapped or that stuff that's suffocating that makes them uncomfortable. They have to be free. This child will probably be... This child is definitely going to, again, they're going to lead their siblings. They're going to be a great leader for the siblings. Um, you know, this child, um, the siblings are going to look up to this child. This, and the, the siblings are also going to feel like this child will always have their back, you know. This is really powerful. It's really beautiful. There's another child here that's going to be a, like a really good medium. This child's already a medium. You know, this child, you may see this child um, just like floating off or, you know, they love to be outside. They talk to animals, okay? They talk to the plants. You have a lot. There's a, um, it's a feminine energy here, okay? that protects this child, a passed on feminine energy that protects this child, that surrounds this child. This child loves to talk to the plants, loves to talk to the fairies and the animals. This child sees a lot of things that they don't speak about. They're not able to, they can't, they may be able to, but the things that they see and they hear, they can't exactly express it. This child loves animals. They're going to have a special gift with animals. Um, and they're a medium. Make sure you are doing things to protect this child because this child is already very in tune with the spiritual realm. Very in tune. They talk to your past on loved ones. Again, they may not be able to tell you this they may not be able to process this yet, but if you watch them, you will be able to see their, their community. Like if they're outside, you watch them, they're communicating. They're communicating with the spirits that they see because they see them already. Their mediumship abilities, they're never going, like, okay. These children are going to, you know, this family of children, each of them, they have their own unique abilities and they're going to come together to create. This is so beautiful. Like, like they're very, um, this is very soul family. Like, even though they're family here on earth, their souls knew each other, like in other dimensions, like, even if they have their, like, sometimes they may not, they argue or they may not get along. Like, they're very soul family. They're very connected. Like, each of them, 
is going to have their own special gifts and they're going to come together to do things to help humanity like they're going to create things that we've never seen because another child and you can you take what resonates i just got to give the information but somebody's very innovative like engineer very creative and innovative but they love science but they're very like artistic so they're going to be like an engineer they have a very innovative quality to them that's part of their purpose they're going to invent things that we've never seen like you know different tools and stuff that we've never seen okay but each of your children they're going to work together you know and they're going to be like this is part of their destiny to work together it may be like a family it's not gonna i don't feel it could be family business but i feel like they're all they're each gonna do their own thing but they're still gonna come together to collaborate you know and it's going to be led by the one that loves freedom the most the one that loves freedom the most they're probably not going to really have like like when they like let's just say you know after high school and they go to college or whatever they're probably going to just be on their own like they'll come back and check in but they may say like can they study abroad or can they just go off and do their own thing and you may be worried and it's like don't be worried like they're gonna be so like they're so protected when i tell you you won't have to you won't have to worry about any of them, but the one that's going to need the freedom the most, that's going to be gone, and it could be a girl here, but whatever, it doesn't matter the gender. They're so protected, you will never have to worry about this child. This child is not going to, like, this child is so gifted and so protected. Archangel Michael walks with this child with the sword of truth. Like, this child's so protected. And that's not to say that this child won't experience you know situations we know here on earth you know those, those things happen but when this child is saying that they're living in another country because for many this child will be a global citizen they're not going to they probably they're just going to be all over like you know they may not even have like their own stable home they're just going to be just wherever they go is where they stay you know they're going to be very it's a very nomadic type life that they're going to lead but it's like they're going to be wherever they are they're going to be changing the world and they're meant to have this nomadic type lifestyle they have to be free you know this child cannot be tied down that's not their plan at all like they're so gifted oh my gosh like wow this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Yeah, like, okay, so for some of you right now, you know, okay, this child could already feel in prison. We have the Eight of Swords here in reverse, okay? They don't have to, but it's easy for them to feel in prison. It's easy for some of you you know, your, like the other parent, okay, or the family could want to confine this child, could want to push this child. And I just saw 911 again, Archangel Michael. Listen, Archangel Michael is not, the who, this child has a huge assignment. So it doesn't matter what these other people try to say and do, Archangel Michael and that sort of truth is not having it. And Archangel Michael don't play. Okay, Archangel Michael does not play. So just make sure you are really like encouraging this child. This child doesn't need much. Honestly, this child does not need much. I, I just like this child really just needs some hugs, kisses, and like encouragement. Like, hey, you're doing a great job. Hey, I'm proud of you. You know and like just talking to this child but this child is not gonna need much this child knows what they're here to do you know they're not gonna need a whole bunch of like coddling and doting because again they don't they don't need it that they just need freedom they just need for you to trust them they just need for you to believe in them 
They just need for you to listen to them when they want to talk. This child may be very like, they want to talk when they want to talk. And when they don't, they want to be left alone. You know, because this child is very empathic. They feel a lot. They they go through a lot. They, they see how it's just kind of like a lot's coming out. You know, they have a lot on their mind. They know their assignment already. This child is already making plans. So it's kind of like, and they're going to lead the other siblings. So the child's not going to need a lot. They're really not. They just need their, your love and support and for you to let them be free. Because as soon as you try to put those restrictions on them or someone does, this is where they shut down. This is where they, they feel imprisoned. This is where they, they lose hope. And they could choose a darker timeline. They could choose a darker side of life. Because they can feel like, well, if this is what they want, this is, I'm going to give them the darkness. You know what I mean? Like, they just need their freedom. And you just have to trust them because this is a good kid. This is a child that's not going to, they're not going to really give you a lot of trouble, honestly. They're going to speak up against authority. But if they speak up against authority at school, they're going to tell you why they said what they said. And they're going to say, well, you know, I didn't agree with that. Like, they're going to be very honest. This child... If they have your trust, they're going to be brutally honest. They're not going to lie to you. They're going to be very honest, a little too honest. You may be feeling like, wow, this child is so honest with me. And I'm grateful, but wow, this is really, this is a lot, you know? So someone may be an athlete here, okay? Um, I am feeling, though, that some ch one child may lack confidence in their athletic ability, okay? So they're going to need... They are very gifted athletically. They're very gifted with the way that their body moves. Could be dance too. You take what resonates. Athletics or dance, okay? But they are going to need that encouragement. They're going to need for someone to be their cheerleader. They're going to need for someone to push them. When I say push, not push, but like, const not constantly, but like telling them they're doing a great job, reassuring them. That's what I want to say reassuring them they're going to need that reassurance they're going to need to know that you know you see they're not going to be able to see their greatness at first you know because someone may even for some of you there may be someone that comes around and plants seeds of doubt okay and that's to get them to dig deeper to get them to push themselves more into like okay you could do this even though this person may have said you can't. No, you can. You know, you may have to pick this child up a few times and really tell them that, like, you can't believe in fear. You can't believe in these naysayers. You can't fall for that, you know? So they are going to need that reassurance, okay? One of the, um, one of the childs here, one of the children here, excuse me. Someone is going to be very adventurous, if not all of them. Like I said, there's this curiosity here. There's this adventurous side. And the one that loves the freedom is going to lead this side. Okay, lead them. Because some of the other siblings may be a bit more reserved or quiet. And this one sibling that loves the freedom, they're going to be like, loosen up. Let's go do this. Let's, you know, they're going to be like, mask off. Let's just do it. Let's have fun. Let's you know, be adventurous. Let's see what life is all about. They're going to show their siblings how to live life to the fullest and how to have fun. Okay. And yeah, because we see here, you see four. And so you see, this is like the one with the freedom, like arms up, let's go. I'm ready. Let's just do this. And you see the other ones may be a little apprehensive, but they're doing it. They may be a little like, okay, what's going to happen? They don't know. The other siblings are really going to love and appreciate this older. Okay. Then we have seven of cups and ace of cups. Okay. Um, all of them are going to love love. They're going to love life. They're going to have this big zest for... They're going to also love being of service. They're going to love helping people. They're going to love giving back. If you teach them how to be of service, how to help others, how to add value, they're going to love it. And they're going to grow up. As they grow up, that's going to be something that's a part of their mindset. Of course, teach them boundaries because 
they especially two of them and maybe a boy and a girl here they're just gonna have this a serious innocence about them and they're going to they could be seem a little naive to things or just they're gonna just have this purity and this this loving energy and this this warmth and this love and this kindness that could just you know people may want to take advantage of okay so just make sure you're teaching them about boundaries and how to protect themselves and like um you know not being taken advantage of stuff like that okay so let's get a few more let's to wrap this up okay so this is what i was saying okay so we have avenger here Desire to balance the scales of justice, righteousness on behalf of society. So someone may be a social injustice fighter here. Someone could be a Libra or just love to help people want, you know, they want to fight for justice. They want equality for others. They, you know, that's part of their path. That's going to be part of their gift to recognize the inequality and the injustices here and to do something about it. Okay. So someone here is going to be passionate about this. And then we have here Hermit. So, you know, I think I did say someone may have a bit of an introverted side. So this could be that child. Seek solitude to focus intently on inner life. Serves personal creativity. So I feel like all of them are creative. But, you know, one will need a bit more time alone to process, to, you know, regroup, to transform, to have that time to themselves so they can really, you know, know what they need to do moving forward and they just need time away they may not you know always be able to be around a lot of people they may you know that may be difficult for them that may be challenging that may be something that doesn't really attract them they may like to be alone a lot right now even as a child you may already notice that, that they need a lot of alone time so just support them in this and let them have their alone time and then we also have father so someone is going to have like a nurturing energy here talent for creating and supporting life positive guiding light within a tribal unit i feel like this is the one i was telling you about that's going to lead the siblings you know this is the one that's going to be that guiding light show them how to live show them how to do things on their own terms show them how to be free you know show them just like they're how they're not they don't have limits they could be free they're limitless they could do what it is they want to do as long as they're following the light and they're going to be that guiding light for the other siblings with this vampire energy i feel like this is again what i was saying this is like um just make them aware of energy vampires make them because they're all empathic they're all very creative they all you know have an emotional side to them they love love they love to give so warn them about energy vampires because it says make sure you're aware that someone or something is draining your life force so start talking to them about this at a young age that you know energy vampires do exist and people love to suck your energy and people love to drain you dry and you know talk to them about boundaries talk to them about loving themselves first talk to them about giving to themselves first so then they can give to others okay so someone's gonna have shamanic abilities someone's going to be able to you know that medicine man medicine woman energy work with animals talk to animals like i was telling you okay do things um to be able to heal others you're just going to be naturally able to heal okay this is again against all odds and travel so this is what i was saying one of them is just they're all going to love to travel they're all going to be very fascinated by travel but one again against all odds you don't need to worry about this child don't worry about this child they're protected. Archangel Michael is right by them. They need to go off and be free and do their own thing. And then again, somebody needs a long time. Okay, let's get a couple more. Okay, I'm sorry. Those, I have a couple of cards in here. It's not going to make sense. Okay, so all the Claire's, okay? All the Claire's. All of them are going to have abilities with all the clairs, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairgustance, 
Um, what else am I missing? I can't remember right now. But they all have all the Claire abilities. I know them, but again, like I was saying, my channel, I can't comment below, please. Okay, so they all, they have it, all of them. They're very gifted. Like I said, they're all gonna weave this beautiful web to work together, but also do their own thing. And it's gonna be so beautiful. You and your partner or their the other parent or whatever, it's gonna be like, you guys are gonna be with pride, okay? It's gonna be very beautiful. All right, let me get a couple messages for you. Into me, I see. So right now, it's time for you to continue to look within, to continue to trust what you see within, to continue to allow yourself to look within and to love yourself during this process and nurture yourself through this process, to be vulnerable with yourself and to know that it's okay. It's okay to look within. It's okay to, you may not always like what you see, but you can change it at any time and let that truth integrate and it's okay. And then the Oracle's gift. So many of you have a gift coming. You have a beautiful surprise that's coming that you don't know anything about. And it's going to come to you when you least expect it in divine timing. And you're going to be very delighted and surprised. And it's going to be a new beginning for many of you. Some type of new start, new beginning. It may even be the gift of a child, okay? So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you all so much for being here. Please keep loving, guiding these babies, these children, showing them what they need to know, okay, on their journey, and it helps you on your journey. So please like the video, please subscribe, join the Capital of OVE Tribe, please share the video, please um, comment below, let me know how it's resonated, and if you don't want to say how it resonated, you could just drop a red heart. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Hi, Pound 2. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Divine Healing Love Club channel. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE tribe. Thank you all so much. I'm Nicole. Let's get into your reading. You chose this card. It is what it is. Okay. Let's talk about the psychic abilities and spiritual gifts. I feel for some of you... For some of you, you may be trying to have a child right now or trying to have a baby and you're kind of letting go of the process, letting go of when it will happen, um, surrendering to this process and just letting it flow, okay? Just kind of saying it is what it is. And if you're not, start doing that because that's how you will be able to bring this energy in. For a child to come in. For some of you, there's a mystery around when you will be having a child. I'm feeling that very strongly. It's like, um, it's definitely divine timing, but it's just kind of like, it's mysterious. It's not going to be like any indication of when this is going to happen. This is going to be a big surprise. For some of you, I'm feeling twins, okay? I notice this is not about when you're having a baby, but I just have to tell you this because that's what's coming in. It's twins here that's coming in for you, okay? But with the abilities, okay, I'm definitely getting twins. And I'm definitely getting just like, you know, these twins just kind of just being, or if it's not twins, it's like, you know, two children you have now, or, you know, however this goes, and I just saw two, two, two. However this goes, you know, you take what resonates for you. But I'm getting just like them just kind of having this unbothered attitude about things or just being very nonchalant about things. Not nonchalant in a bad way, but just kind of just doing their own thing. You know, these twins here, these two children, they, they walk to the beat of their own drum. They do their own thing. They're definitely in tune with what it is they want to do. Very, very, like, very secure in their place in the universe. Very secure in their place here on Earth. Very much like they want to do it their way and they are going to do it their way. These twins or these two children here, 
I'm feeling like, you know, there's a type where you will have to encourage them. You will have to tell them, give them that affirmation. They will need that affirmation because if they let seeds of doubt get planted, that can be very detrimental to them. That can really pull them in a path of inaction and fear, okay? That could pull them in this place of just like, you know, not wanting to do much with themselves because they'll believe what the doubt and the naysayers are here to say. Now, I'm not saying that you always have to tell them that they're doing a great job or you always have to give them that encouragement, but they will need that support and encouragement from you. They will need to hear it. They're going to need verbal affirmations and they will need physical presence as well for you to physically support what it is that you're doing, physically be there for some of the things that they're doing. They need to see that you're there in support of them. Your support will matter. You and you know the other parent, the support that they receive will matter a lot. And this is something that will push them to go even further. They're going to get to a place, especially when they get to adulthood, where they're not going to care what people think. But these formative years are very important to have your support and the other parents' support so they can know that it's like they need to be built up to know that they don't need that support from the, that they could just support themselves and like, basically like they align your support and the other parents' support with like approval from the higher power. You know, like in their mind, that's how they're going to comprehend it. You know, it's very powerful. And once, like basically, that's the only approval they feel like they need. And if they don't get it, they're going to move into this, again, place of like, it is what it is and they don't care. And they're not always going to live up to their potential. But as long as they have your approval and the other parent's approval, that's all that they care about. They won't say it. But that is all that they care about. And once they see that they have your approval, you know, and it could be like in your teen years, they won't need, they won't need it as much or like they won't need, you know, for you to affirm it as much because they're already going to know. Like it's already going to be something that they've built and they've seen. So it's kind of just like, now they're not going to care what people think. They're just going to be like, it is what it is. Like, I have my parents support and approval i don't care you know because again that approval aligns with the higher power for them they're not going to really care about friends approval like they're really not going to get caught up in that you know like when other kids and people get caught up they're not going to be caught up in that because they're going to have you and the other parents approval so it's not going to be a big deal they're just going to walk and move like they don't care you know they're going to have this very like I don't want to say they don't care, but it's kind of like it's a, that's part of their superpower because that's going to allow them to do whatever it is they want, to go for whatever it is they want. They're not going to have this fear and be pushed into them to inaction or pushed into not even taking the risk or not believing in themselves. Like they're not going to have that issue. And that's going to be their superpower because that's how they're going to unlock the door the door to greatness, to do whatever it is they want to do. These twins or these two children are very powerful. Very powerful, okay? They, they don't really, you know, they don't have any limits. They just need that approval. And that's literally going to push them to do whatever it is they want to do. They just have to know that, like, you support and love them. You and the other parent it once they know that they're gonna do whatever it is they want to do and they're literally gonna have that fearless mindset you know they're gonna grow up with that fearless mindset they're not going to doubt it in fact they're gonna love it because other people are gonna be like how do you do what you do and they're just gonna be like like they just do it they just go for it they're gonna be able to do things that like Adults are going to be jealous of them. Adults are going to be like, how is it that you just go for it? And they're going to be like, well, my mom and dad are good with it. And that's literally all it is. Like as long as they have you and your partner or your other parent, whatever the situation is, as long as they have your approval and your support and your love, they're not going to seek outside validation because they align that with the higher power. 
they're very also very spiritually in tune so it's like they're gonna be very much in touch with the higher power and the universe and like you know how that all works they're gonna be very in tune with that that's going to help them to move forward in their journey so i see here okay so so for some of you like i said your approval is everything to them your approval and the other parents approval is all they need to keep going and they're even going to tell you this when they become adults that like just you approving them help them to reach the highest of heights help them to do what it is that they're here to do they both have a big mission they both i'm feeling for some of you one of them could be an athlete here and the other one is going to be some type of um creative as far as like musician or um something in beauty or something with um fashion fashion or beauty are sticking out here or uh dance but what someone is going to be an athlete or someone's going to do something with their body okay could be dance as well um the other person it's like their spirituality and again them being very in tune with their spirituality they may not always speak about spirituality but they're going to be very intuitive they're going to have a strong level of discernment they're going to be very in tune with what things mean to them in their body like if they feel certain things they feel energies they're going to follow what they feel and they're always going to take the risk and they're always going to gamble on themselves and they're always going to choose themselves like they're going to be very in tune with like taking risk and how it pays off and like again as long as they have your approval and the other parent that's it they're going to just go for whatever it is they want they're always going to, even if they get rejected, it's not going to be a big deal for them. Like rejection, you know how people look at rejection like, oh, you failed or oh, this door closed, you can't try again. They're not going to view it like that. They're always going to get back up. They're always going to have this ability to try again. They're going to understand that one door that seemed like it closed is just an opportunity for something else. Like they're going to get it. Then they're going to get it at a young age because they're going to learn by life experience. Like I said, one of them, both of them are going to be very creative, but someone maybe, one of them may be an artist. But I'm just feeling that they're going to create, like, it's a lot of mystery here. So that tells me that they're just going to do what they want to do. It, it may, like, one year they may do this, the next year they may do that. They're going to literally show how gifted they are, how creative they are, how they don't have any bounds, how, again, they're just going to go for it. They're just going to do what they feel led to do. They're going to get inspired a lot. They're going to get inspired by a lot of things here on earth. They're going to go follow that inspiration and unlock a new ability, unlock a new capability and figure it out. They're going to be really good problem solvers, really good critical thinkers, really good problem solvers. They're going to know how to navigate themselves out of a problem. Like I said, life experience is going to be really important for them. They're going to need to deal with these situations in life. They're going to be very independent. They're going to need for you to kind of like, they're just going to need someone to listen to them and talk about like what happened and like help them to see that like, okay, like when something didn't go well or something didn't go the way that they expect it. They need someone to talk it through. They need someone to listen to them and like, okay, ask some questions to get them to dig deeper. Like what could you have done to do things differently? Or what did you learn from this situation? Or how could you have problem solved this differently? Like they're gonna need that. It's almost like coaching, but they're doing the work, but you're just there listening and being supportive and asking them their questions because they're going to learn a lot through life experiences. And that's what helps them to build up their gifts and their abilities and their intuition. For some of you, you know, you and, and the other parent may have divorced or broken up or whatever. And so they're going to appreciate when you two come together to support them. Okay, 
they're going to like that's going to be very that's something that they're going to treasure that's something that um will stick out to them as they grow up as they get older you know if if it's a situation that you and the other parent are not together if you come together you and unite to support them and to show them that you're there for them and to give them that love and support that's going to mean everything to them okay like it's going to um they just need that support i mean i know all children need it but they don't like talks are going to be important for them again talking them through the situations and like after something happened and just like checking in hey you know asking them about their day what they dealt with asking them certain questions to get them to unfold it more because this is how they learn and this is how they grow but they need someone there they need you there and you to be present and intentional with them okay they're very both of them are going to have a lot of luck and abundance in life you know things are going to be it's going to be very synchronistic and it's going to be a lot of flow now this is not to say that they won't have challenges they will but it's it's going like they're going to really flow through life it's going to be easy it's going to be like again they're always going to be unlocking a new thing that they're going to do and it's going to be remarkable you watching them and you like you're like how are they able to just career shift that quickly? Or how are they able to go into a new job venture? And it's just so, I mean, so successful, so much of a flow, you know, like you're going to recognize this. It's going to be like, because they're going to trust themselves because again, they have your support and approval and they're going to know that like, they're here to do what they want. Like, again, they're going to have, they may not express this, but it, innately, intuitively, they're going to have this level of, they understand the freedom that they've been given. And they understand that they could do what it is they want. Maybe you're going to talk to them about this, or maybe you're going to talk to them about seizing the opportunity, but they're going to be risk takers. And again, they're going to take the risk and it's going to pay off, you know? And if it doesn't pay off, they're just going to wait for the next payoff. Like, they're not going to sweat the small stuff. They're going to walk. They're going to have a mantra. It is what it is. And they're just basically going to be like, it's okay. You know, if that didn't work out, something else better is coming along. And it's okay. And they're going to ride the wave. And they're going to be great. Like, you're not going to have to worry about them. They're going to be very, like, in a flow like there it's gonna be like a flow for them it's like really beautiful it's like again they're gonna have their challenges and they just need you to listen like they're gonna do the talking and they're gonna tell you what the, what you need to know but cultivate that relationship with them now so they don't feel afraid to come to you because they're gonna tell you what you whatever it is that they need to tell you, and they're not gonna feel fearful of it. But they have to know that you just support them through whatever, and you don't judge them. Never judge them. As long as they know you don't judge them, and they always have your support, they're gonna tell you whatever it is you wanna know, and they're gonna be happy to tell you because they're gonna trust you, and they're gonna know that like no matter what, you have their back. That's what they're gonna know. Okay. So let's talk about this some more. So, goddess. So both of them are good looking or will be good looking, okay? And they're going to have this quality about them where they're able to mesmerize people with their beauty, with their attractiveness, with how good they look. Um, people will admire their, their, their looks, their qualities. People will admire the way that they do things, the way that they move, the way that they, um, their abilities. Like I said, they're going to be really in a flow, okay? A lot of people are going to learn from just watching them, watching how they move to whatever it is that they want to do, and they do it with a flow, and it's effortless, and it's successful for them, okay? But many of them have this attractiveness that's very unique and very captivating to many people. Many people will be captivated by their beauty, Okay, so this is something that's going to, this is a part of their gifts. They're, they have the gift of being very attractive, beautiful, handsome, okay? This is, this is part of their power. They have a lot of power in this. 
and they're gonna know it. Like they're gonna know that they look good and they're gonna use that to their advantage. You know, not in a way that like they sacrifice their divinity or their integrity, but they're going to like, they're just gonna know that they look good and they're gonna walk in that confidence, but it's gonna be in like divine confidence. That's what it is. They have, both of them are gonna have this divine confidence that a lot of people don't have. And you have to have divine confidence to continue to take risks and bet on yourself and continue to jump off the cliff and you know that you're gonna be good. So they're gonna have a lot of confidence. Someone here is gonna be a healer. Someone here is going to help to heal others. They may, I'm hearing it may even be in the medical field, but they're going to heal others. They're going to help others. They're going to help guide others. Um, energy healer as well, I'm hearing. They're going to like, you know, they're going to be, like I said, one of them is very, they're both very creative, but they're going to be very in tune to you know the higher power and the universe and they're going to again try different things okay so when they try out healing others or working with others they're going to be successful with that and see we have your saboteur so again they're going to empower others by just by leading by example like just showing people how they're able to sh move into a a different career field move into a new project move into a new way of doing things and they're successful people are going to be watching them people are going to have their eye on them you know they're going to be the type where people know who they are people are going to watch them people are going to be just amazed at how successful that they are because they're going to be very successful very successful and it's like they're not going to chase money they're just chasing their passion they're not going to be chasing money I mean, they're going to like money, but they're not going to chase it. They're going to just follow that inspired action. They're going to get inspired all the time. They're going to be very creative. So whenever they get inspired, they're just going, if they feel it, they're going to flow with it and move. They're going to take that action. And so someone, again, I'm getting that creative energy. Someone could be a poet, a writer, okay, musician, in the arts. We also saw that paintbrush, okay? So, and I'm also hearing doing something with languages as well, learning more than one language, okay? Something with that, let's find out what else. Power two, okay. This card just fell, I'm just gonna leave it there, okay. Someone here is going to be a mentor, some type of guru. This could be the one that's the healer. They're going to be guiding people, helping people, um, showing people the way, you know, guiding people from their own personal experience. This is what I was saying. Some new developments are coming in. So, you know, something, it's with these children too, but it could be another baby. I'm not sure. It's going to be different for everyone. But with them, I feel like, again, they're going to be just doing all different kinds of things. I mean, at least like five or six different things I've been picking up here and more to come. OK, spiritual leader. All right. So someone could be a spiritual leader. Like I said, I did get that they're very they're going to be very spiritual, very in tune, but they're going to lead by just doing what they want to do. Like, you know, again, they're going to show people how you could do what you want and be what you want and just flow with it. Okay, so these cards keep flying. All right, so then we have third eye chakra. So their third eye chakra is going to be very powerful, very strong. They're going to, again, they're going to have that special vision of what it is they want to do in life, and then they're just going to follow it and move, communicate with animals, okay? So they're going to have, someone's going to have the ability to communicate with animals, and that's going to be a special gift that they have. And they're going to do things with animals. Okay, let's get a couple more. Okay, so empath. So both of them are going to be an empath. Both of them are going to be very empathic. And also healing and support are available. So they're very supported from the ancestors in the angelic realm. 
they have a lot of healing and support available to them. So make sure you're talking to them about their own level of protection, their own level of guidance and love that they have on the other side. That's a mention from you and the other parent. I don't know why these cards keep flying. <laughs> so my hand is not shaking. All right, let me get one more. All right. The power of purpose. So you may be in this place right now where you're digging deeper in your purpose. You're finding yourself on a deeper level. So keep going. This means that you are aligning with your purpose. You're aligning with what it is you're supposed to do here on earth. And you are in, if you're not on that path, you're getting closer to being on that path. So just trust this journey. Trust how you are aligning. Trust how things are moving for you. So you can align with your purpose and really do what it is you're here to do here on earth. And then we have your seeing beyond. So we see here the third eye chakra is being upgraded for you as well. And this is for you to be able to show these children how to tap into their third eye chakra energy so they can do things to benefit them as well and they could grow that you know energy and use that as their vision as well so if no one told you that they love you today i love you thank you so much for being here i'm proud of you keep going keep doing this work please like the video share the video subscribe comment below let me know how this resonated thank you all so much and i'll see you in the next reading Hi, Pal3. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back to the Capital LLVE Tribe. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I'm Nicole. Thank you all so much for being here. So you chose the Rose's Kiss. Let's talk about your spiritual, spiritual abilities of your children or child or baby. I'm feeling a lot of Venus energy here. Just by this rose, for me, the rose represents Venus, Venetian energy. So this could be Taurus or Libra energy. With this number nine, this could be Sagittarius energy. I'm definitely feeling a lot of beauty, a lot of arts, a lot of philosophy, a lot of learning, um, a lot of wonder, a lot of mystery, a lot of awe. I'm also feeling like a very in-depth, energy like a, a depth to this this child here okay a depth to their soul a depth to their abilities a depth to who they are and what they are here to do you know this child this child beams a lot of light this child beams a lot of light this child attracts a lot of all types of energies this child um will be very healing by just being present this child is very empathic this child will heal others by just being there you know this child's energy will be very healing this child's energy will be very rejuvenating for many people just again a hug from this child um, just being next to this child. So this child will need a lot of spiritual baths, that bath salt in their baths, essential oils. This child will need protection. This child will need, um, because this child will absorb a lot of energies, okay? A lot of energies will be attracted to this child. Um, this child will be very gifted with their, um, like it's like they're gonna love poetry, they're gonna love philosophy, they're gonna love, um, I'm just getting like a very, like a lot of depth, okay? This child is going to be a critical thinker. This child would like to talk about different topics that have depth, okay? This child may even have issues with um, like their friends, and when, when I say that, meaning like they may connect more with like adults because they may feel like sometimes things can be a little shallow with their friends, okay? They may like to talk to older people more. They may feel like, you know, because this child values wisdom, values knowledge. So they're going to like to talk to people, have intellectual conversations. This child will like to be intellectually stimulated a lot. They're gonna love mental stimulation. They're gonna to love to sing songs and they're gonna to love to play different um, 
different games and, you know, different mind games. I'm getting strongly this child would like math. This child would like to um, explore. They are going to like to be in nature. They are going to like animals and plants. Um, bugs, okay? They're going to like bugs and like fish, marine life. Um, they may love to garden. That may be something that you and this child could do together. They're going to need time to express their emotions. They're going to feel a lot. They're going to feel a lot. You know, this child is going to carry a lot of energy. They're going to absorb a lot of energy. So they may seem a bit emotional with the moon phases. They may get a little emotional. They may feel a bit up and down they may um you know cry for no reason like they don't know why they're crying but they feel a lot this child is going to feel everything okay very empathic this child will be able to feel this child's going to be very emotionally intelligent they're going to feel what others others can't say you know they're going to know they're going to be very in tune to energies they're going to be very in tune to how people feel. People are sad. If people are down. If people feel anxious. You know, they're going to feel it. They're going to know. Like, teach this child how to grow more of their emotional intelligence because that's a huge gift that they have. They may even be a therapist or a counselor or um, a social worker or something like that because they're very empathic. A doctor, a healer, okay? Um, their emotional intelligence is going to be out of this world, okay? Because they're going to feel so much. The child is going to feel everything. They're going to feel the vibration of the earth. This child is meant to be a light for many people. You know, people are going to come up to you and say like, you know, you have such a beautiful child. You have such a, you know, your child is like a little star, a little shining bright light. You know, this child is going to know, like, if you're out somewhere, they're going to know, like, if they see certain people, they may go to them and say hi, or they may wave at them, or they may smile. And it's like, they're going to know that they need to give that person some love, or that person needs that encouragement, or that person needs someone to wave at them. You know, this, this child is going to be very emotionally intelligent. That's a huge part of their gift because they're meant to help others with that emotional intelligence. They're just going to need to know how to have boundaries to protect themselves because, again, they're going to feel everything. You know, they may even come home crying from school, you know, because they're going to be very sensitive, very empathic, okay? They're going to, you know, TV shows and movies may make them cry. They may say, you know, they're going to feel bad about certain things. If they see homeless people, they may cry or they may just feel very upset and sad. And, you know, they're going to ask questions. Well, why can't, why are things this way? And why don't people have a home? And, you know, they're going to ask you a lot of questions about upsetting things that they see in the world. You know, if you have the news on, they're going to be like, well, why did this person have to die? Why did this happen? And, so their emotional intelligence is very strong and that's their gift. That's part, that's a huge part of their gift. Let's see what else. And just their beauty. They just have a lot of beauty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this child again, this child is going to love hard. This child is going to love, love. This child is going to love having friends, family. They're going to be the peacemaker. They're going to be the peacekeeper. This could even be a water sign. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? They're going to love to help others, to give to others. They're going to be the type, if they see a homeless person, they're going to want to give this homeless person money. They're going to want to do what they can to help anyone. They're going to love to help people. You know, they're going to take joy and pleasure. They're, you know, they may even be like the shining star in school. Like, you know, people know that like this child loves to help. This child loves to, 
you know, be of service and to volunteer. Like they're going to mm -hmm. like to volunteer. They're going to like to meet a lot of new people. They're going to want to hear people's stories because they want to help. You know, they want to do things to help. Like they know that they're here to be, to help. This child is going to be celebrated. This child may be famous um, or they're just going to be known for the things that they're doing. Okay. They're going to be creating plans and systems and situations to help to serve to give back this is what they're here to do and they're going to love to talk to people and to meet new people and to see how they're impacting others and not in an arrogant way but it's just it's going to bring them a lot of joy and fulfillment like you know when the things that they create and the things that they do when people come back to them and say this helped me to do this and you helped me to do that. That's going to give them great fulfillment. They're not going to be the type that, like if they're famous, it's going to be accidentally famous. Like they're not going to try to be famous. That's not going to be their goal. Their goal is to help. And if they happen to become famous about that, they're, they're not going to be like, it's just not going to be a big deal to them. They're going to be like, okay, great. But let's talk about what else we're going to do. They're going to be very action oriented. They're going to be very like, you know, they want to help. They want to serve. They want to give back. They want to, you know, create things to make this world a better place. They may even say that as a child, like, how can we make things better? How can, what can I do to, you know, because they're going to feel everything. Like I said, they may cry a lot. They may be extra sensitive. They may get anxiety when they're in certain situations. Like they're going to feel a lot. Their clear sentience is going to be very strong. They're going to feel. That's why I said spiritual baths, them getting grounded, them being in nature, crystals. These things are going to be important. They're going to have to ground that energy because they're going to feel a lot. They may be sensitive to noise. They may feel, um, you know, loud noises may scare them. Um, they're just going to be very sensitive to the energies and the noises and the sounds here on Earth. You know, they're going to need that quiet time. If you live like in a loud area, that may, you know, it may prevent them from sleeping well. You know, that they may need some type of like, what are those, like, you know, those noise buffers or something like that to buffer out the noise to help them to relax more because they're going to be very sensitive. And it's not like they're, they're just going to feel everything. Like they're going to feel... At, you know, most people, most empaths, we feel a lot, but some of us are even more sensitive than others. This is a highly sensitive empath here, okay? So they're going to also, but they're going to like to have fun, and they're just going to, like, they're going to love to be around people. They're going to love to be around people. They're going to love family. They may even, you know, want a big family, or they may even say, you know, they want a lot of siblings, or, you know, they want to be around a lot of people because they love people. They have a serious love for humanity. They have a love for the earth. They have a love for all living things, animals, plants, people. So they're going to want to share. They have a lot of love to give. They have a lot of love to share with others. So they love to be around people. They love to share their love. Although they need their alone time, they're going to love being around people and to being in the energy of others because this is how they learn. This is how they grow. And this is how they continue to advance their abilities. Because like I said, their emotional intelligence is going to be like off the charts. It's highly 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 strong strong and very um because again their emotional intelligence is that's a part of their plan their mission and their purpose so they have to have a high level of emotional emotional intelligence okay so they're going to need you to be understanding of that they're going to need you may not understand everything because you can't relate to what they feel and think all the time but as long as you're giving them hugs and kisses and comforting them and taking them out in nature for walks or spending that time with them and taking them to things where they can be around people and they can get to know people and, and supporting you know they may tell you at a young age you know they want to have like a little business or a lemonade stand or something to raise money for a charity or to raise money to help the people homeless people the homeless thing keeps sticking out a lot so they may say hey i want to have a little lemonade stand because i want to raise money to give to a shelter 
or to help these animals and you know I'm seeing this for a young age so as long as you support them and like okay this is what we'll do you know we'll, we'll set this up we'll do this it's just it's gonna mean a lot because they know that they're loved and supported by you and that's part of their mission you know to help others and to give this love okay they're not with this eight of wands in reverse I'm gonna show it to you upright they're not gonna be like serious risk takers they may move slow in decisions or they may um you know again because they feel a lot so you know, they may have this thing about overthinking or they may overanalyze or overthink, but it's because they feel so much and they're very emotionally intelligent. And not only are they very emotionally intelligent, but they're gonna have a high level of intelligence because in order to do the type of work that they're gonna be doing, they need to be very intelligent and very in tune with how to move and with how to create and with how to do things. So this child, you know, they may not always be quick to make a decision. They may not always be quick to take a risk. They may, you know, be hesitant on taking risk and new opportunities and stuff like that. So, you know, that's just something for you to keep in mind. Okay. Um, a lot of people will be drawn into this child because of their beauty, because of their attractiveness. You know, they're just going to be very, and this child is going to have a bright light, a very bright light. And they're going to shine it bright. So a lot, they're going to attract a lot of different people, okay? You know, a lot of people. You know, they may even, um, you know, they may even get told at a young age that they're, you know, they're just so beautiful and stuff like that. So some of their abilities, so with this here, With this prostitute here this is again talking about their beauty but this is also saying for me that they're not going to sacrifice who they are for money for fame for they don't they're not going to sacrifice their integrity or their divinity for mater the material world okay they're going to and they're going to show people how you can do things like again they're going to be very attractive so they're going to show people how you don't have to do that to still win in the material world to still have abundance and to still have a great life okay um they're going to show people that again with this beauty that they have you know people may try to you know put them like they want to save them because this this child is going to be very pure this child is going to be very loving and you know People may want to save this child. People may want to try to, you know, of course we, you know, protect this child, but this child is going to inspire others to be independent. And they're they're gonna to have to learn their own level of independence because because of their beauty, because of who they are and the way that they shine their light, people are always gonna to wanna to try to save and protect and like you know, do everything for this child, but this child is going to have to learn their own level of independence, and they will, but they can't be stifled in, you know, that overbearing type energy. You're going to have to trust this child and trust them, and of course, they're going to have their own challenges, but they're going to build their own level of independence, and even though that they're going to feel a lot and be very empathic and be very pure, they're going to learn how to make things work for them, and they're protected. They're very protected. They're very protected to do what it is that they're here to do. And we have your Messiah. That's what I was saying. People are going to feel like this child is an earth angel. They're going to feel like this child was sent from the heavens. They're going to feel like this child is just, you know, a gift. A gift to humanity, a gift to this world, to the earth. Many people are going to look at this child like that. This child is going to have like that type of frequency, that like angel, angelic frequency, okay? This child has some unique frequencies that a lot of people don't have. And they're going to serve humanity with humility. And they're going to love doing it. You know, many of you, this child will be famous. This child will be famous for the things that they're going to do. And it's like, they're just not even going to be phased by it. They're going to be like, okay, you know, that's great. But, you know, what else am I here to do? Work with this child in their throat chakra because I feel like sometimes they may have a hard time speaking up for themselves. And again, that's the boundaries and them advocating for themselves and then knowing how to handle situations with 
by not being taken advantage of because my throat chakra is tightening up and I just feel like they may have issues with that speaking up for themselves and knowing that they can advocate for themselves in a safe, healthy way without being, without dealing with scrutiny or criticism because they may feel afraid to speak up on some things because they're so sensitive. They're going to be very sensitive. Their feelings will be hurt very easily, okay, because they feel everything. Okay, so just work with them on that. And then we have your networker. They're here to unify people. You know, they're here to unite people, to bring people together, to bring humanity together, to bring groups of people that normally would not come together. They're here to bring them together, to work together toward common goals. You know, and this is how they serve humanity. They're going to do some amazing things here, here on Earth. And it's like... They're going to be very in tune to it, okay? They're going to be very, and they're going to be grateful for this assignment. They're not, you know, they're going to be very grateful that they were chosen to help people. Like, that's just going to be, they're going to love helping people. That's their mission. Okay, let's find out what else. Okay. Okay. These cards, though. Wow, this is so powerful. And I just saw throat chakra again. So again, just work with them on that. Okay, so again, this child will be very intuitive. Very intuitive. And like I said, their emotional intelligence is going to be so heightened, so powerful, so powerful. Heart chakra, they're going to have a huge heart chakra. Again, this is the type of heart that's going to heal the world, to heal so many people. So their heart chakra, their feelings will get hurt easily. They will be sensitive, but they have a huge heart chakra and they're going to know how to heal and they're, they're going to know how to continue to transform and transmute that energy. They are, they will heal the family. This child will heal the family. They will be very healing to the family, not only for your family, but for many families. Okay. But this child is going to shine that bright light and be unified, unite your family and unite many people. This child is an ascendant master, okay? That means in other dimensions and other timelines and dimensions and places in the universe, they're guiding people, but they're gonna guide people here on earth. And also they have ascendant masters working with them that are protecting them and they will protect them on this journey here and the things that they're here to do. They will need alone time Okay, they will need a long time. And um, again, the moon cycle and phases are going to affect this child because again, their emotions and the moon uh, cycles and phases affect our emotions. And this child is a prodigy. So like this is what I was saying, this child is very emotionally intelligent, but very intellectually intelligent as well. You know, and they're going to love wisdom. They're going to love knowledge. They're going to love talking to a lot of different people, learning from a lot of different people and um, gaining that knowledge because that helps to fuel their intuition. OK, let's get some messages for you. OK, so we have here exposed and revealed. So something is being some truth is being. Some truth is being illuminated right now. Something is being exposed. Something is being revealed. For some of you, you may be getting ready to integrate a lot of truth, a lot of knowledge, a lot of um, truth to help you with your journey. You may even be having an important conversation with someone I'm hearing, or some type of truth will be exposed through a conversation that you have with someone. It's some serious truth that's getting ready to come down and it's going to change the game for your journey to help you move forward. If you've been feeling stuck, where you've been feeling like, you know, you're ready to move forward. It's, you know, some holdups or things haven't been moving. This truth is getting ready to come out. It's getting ready to open a huge door for you to move forward. And then we have a deep breath. So take a time out. Take some time to rest. Take some time to heal. Take some time to focus on yourself. Some self-care. Nurture yourself. Love yourself. Really take that time to take a deep breath out. And really just breathe, you know, just breathe. Let this truth integrate, you know, journal, spend some time in nature, spend some time in the water, really heal. There's some deep healing that needs to happen here. 
okay trust that path trust that journey so if no one told you that they love you today i love you thank you all so much for being here with me today keep going i'm proud of you keep doing this work please like the video share the video subscribe join the capital lobe tribe comment below let me know how this resonated and if you don't want to let me know how this resonated drop a red heart thank you all so much and i'll see you in the next reading Thank you.